Shalom Aleichem, holy people. I wanted to tell you something really from the heart. I know that many of my videos and talks went viral, some of them by real truthful truth seekers and honest followers, people who understand what in the world I'm talking about. But many of the videos were followed also and watched by people that found my words um, contradicting their most fundamental beliefs. Um, for an example, some Christian people that had issues with me not believing in Jesus and not holding him not as Mashiach and not as a prophet even. And some Muslim people that found my words contradicting their beliefs by not following Muhammad and not believing in its prophecy. And I can understand that any person in the world that is growing with a certain belief system will relate to message that will support his faith. But when someone else is coming and contradicting your faith, it is it needs to do one of two things. It can or wake you up to the truth or for you to feel certain compassion for that person that he is not holding the truth that you hold. Now, rage, anger, all kinds of resentment are part of forces of darkness. And if you find yourself that my videos or my talks bringing you to that negative place, it's the time for you to check yourself and your inner structure. Because a true believer in Jesus, a true believer in Muhammad, a true believer in the Torah that was given to the people of Israel, a true believer in any kind of faith will be a truthful person, a kind person, a patient person, a loving and honorable person that has patience for other people's beliefs. And I, for an example, have a lot of understanding and a lot of appreciation to true believers around the world, even if their faiths are different than mine. Just that there are certain truths that I think that are open for discussion and very important to, to talk about. And I think that if I'm challenging your religion and your faith system, it doesn't need to make you my enemy or me your enemy. And if you want to be my enemy, that's your issue. You can always fight with yourself if you want, but I'm not holding in that place. And I just wanted to say that Christianity is a religion that started after Judaism and it's a section a group of people that took themselves out of Judaism and drifted and there are many explanations for that and there were many people involved in that some of them were supporting of the new religion and some of them were Jewish people that were rejecting that group and were assisting them to change and to separate and cut themselves from old Orthodox um, original Judaism and there are many many deep explanations to this to that dividing between Judaism to Christianity but Christianity ideally was based on Judaism and many of you Christian guys are admitting that that originally originally Christianity did not come to break or to change or to contradict ancient Judaism ancient Torah that was given to the people of Israel and as well and it's important to discuss and talk about 
was given in the hands of the holy sages that were the ones to set the rules based on the oral Torah that we received from one generation to the next by our ancestors. The holy sages are the ones that set the way that we should observe and keep the Jewish rule, the halakha, and we are counting on their judgments and on their understandings until today and until Mashiach will come. So to the Christian guys, I'm telling you, you have a big lacking of not knowing and not understanding the original scripts. The fact that you are not learning the Torah in Hebrew, the original, the ancient one, and you're not learning and understanding the words of the sages in the Talmud, and you're leaning and counting on translations that were manipulated and changed for certain reasons, for certain agenda, for certain purposes, twisted and parts were erased and denied. And you know that original Jewish books were burnt in every city around the world for hundreds and thousands of years. So first of all, you have a problem and I'm willing to help and assist each and every one of you to come back to the roots and to learn the Torah. And on that, and based on that, you'll be able to understand why we have such a great contradiction with Jesus and why we don't follow his so-called prophecies and the other ones that continued his way or made up a whole new way based on their prophecies or understanding so-called that I don't hold as prophecies at all. That's one. And about our Muslim, Muslims brothers, the Muslim brothers, I'll tell you the truth. Your religion as well is based not on the original scripts. In that time that you translated or your prophet so-called translated the Bible to Arabic, they cut some parts, they made big, enormous changes, and you're basing your faith on an original um, Bible that is not even the Bible itself. It's a new story that was told by your people. Ishmael was not the chosen child of Abraham. And it does, mean, does not mean that Ishmael was not important. But he was not the one that got the blessing from Abraham. Yitzchak was the one. And if you think that I think that I'm better than you in any way because I am in that chain and legacy of Yitzchak by being the son of Yaakov, that was the child of Yitzchak that came from Abraham, you're totally wrong. And also among you, there are 10 lost tribes of the people of Israel. And the 10 lost tribes, the majority of them today are Christians or Muslims. And they are part of your people. And we have great affection to them and to any true believer. And we don't think that we are better than you. And if there is some Jewish people that are arrogant and think that they are better than you, so it's their problem. You need to understand that the connection to the Torah, to the original Torah is fundamental, is very important, is very basic. And if you will not learn the original scripts in Hebrew and understand the wisdom of it or the English original orthodox translations of the scripts you will never find the truth because you're basing your knowledge on wisdom that was written 800 years ago or 1500 years ago and we are basing our understanding on the revealing of Hashem the creator the maker of the world on Mount Sinai in front of all the children of Yaakov that 
were saved from Egypt. And based on that, we're basing our wisdom and our knowledge, our understanding of how to serve and worship the creator of the world. And you're basing your wisdoms on scripts that were written by people and not by the voice of Hashem. And I'm sorry, that's my honest opinion. And I don't want in any way to hurt your feelings. And I care for you and I love you. And I'm saying that from the bottom of my heart. I just want you to succeed and to rise and shine. And that we'll all be able to accept the face of Hashem and to serve Him like that it's written that in that day of redemption, the house of Hashem, like Hashem is saying, Ki beti, my house will be called the house of prayer to all nations. And the city of Zion, Yerushalayim, in a trial will be redeemed. She'll be redeemed. They're going to be a huge trial. And it's better in that day of judgment to be a good person, to be a kind person, to be a loving person, to be an honoring and respecting person. It's much, much better to have a heart in the day of trial than to have bitterness and anger. So aim your heart to the truth and the creator of the universe will see the honesty of your heart and will allow you to access and to find the true wisdom, the ancient wisdom, the real true wisdom that belongs to him and to find yourselves and to find him within you. All my love to you and to everyone that desires the truth. Blessings.